Welcome, 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 welcome to Not the MMA Holes. How you doing? Uh, we're going to finish Guardians of the Galaxy. I think there's two more chapters left. We're going to get through it. We're going to make it happen. We're going to defeat the game. Finally. Uh, we had an interesting day today. Very interesting. The good news is uh, Jesse's alive. That's very good news. Jesse has survived the day. This morning, she woke up uh, early, very, very early, before the baby got up, and she was she was in like a frantic um, mindset. And I'm like, what, what's going on? What's going on? She's been having like chest pains for a while. She's been, um, you know, shortness of breath. Uh, pain in her arm, you know, the symptoms that are, you know, very typical for heart attack, right? Uh, she's been going to doctors trying to rule everything out. And one doctor said that with an EKG, they said that she has, I don't know, something going on with the heart. I can't remember exactly what the hell it was. Then she goes to a heart specialist and the story I got from Jesse is a little bit different than the story I got today. It got cleared up today. But anyway, she was basically saying that this heart specialist says that she has a swollen heart. So, you know, that doesn't sound good. But he did say, he was like, listen, he's like, this is normal after you get the vaccine. You know, an enlarged heart, you know, it's, it's not it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, a side effect and, you know, it could be a side effect of COVID, you know, so just wait to get the next vaccine and blah, blah, blah. Right. I'm like, this is weird. So, I, you know, we were basically like, yeah, don't get that second vaccine. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And um, she the doctor said, if you have any worse symptoms you know, if, if, it, if it flares back up again, you feel like you're having a heart attack or whatever, go to the hospital. So, three strikes, you're in the hospital. Now, of course, we want to avoid the hospital at all costs because the hospital, they give you Tylenol, it's $400. Like, it's, I mean, they're just hitting you over the head with everything over there. It's just, yeah, let me rape you. <clears throat> but in this situation here, we had no choice. You know, I, I told Jess, I was like, listen, even if it's just for peace of mind, go this way we can you know move forward but you know she was really feeling it um and she was in bad shape she's she's definitely you know feeling these things so she went her mom took her i, I had some quality time with little ellie it was actually kind of nice and uh so they go to the hospital with her swollen heart um and, you know, they're doing a bunch of tests over there. You know, I'm waiting, just getting the text back and forth. And, um, <laughs> uh, you know, so the doctor comes in. I'm, I'm sure I'm telling the quick, quick version of his story, believe it or not. Jesse could probably, you know, tell you all the intricate details. But I'm telling the, the, uh, the uh, quick story. And I <laughs> see that super chat. <laughs> yeah, I got the link. Yeah, feel free to donate for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Super baby. Chat. What do you got, Mikey boy? Jesse's med fund. Come on, baby. Let's go. Wonderful. wonderful. Thank you. That was very nice of you. So, anyway. Anyway. Oh, God. We need a universal health care over here. It's kind of ridiculous. When you try to run your own situation, eh, health care is not that great. Anyway, thank you. That was really nice of you. So, so anyway, long story short, she, she sp gets all these tests done. Her heart's good. No uh, real issues with the heart. No inflammation. But they want to do more tests because they're like, this is really strange that you're having, you know, these pains and, and what's going on here. So then they do these other tests. And the person that did the test reads the results and says, you have water around your lungs. So now I get this text. <laughs> There's water around her lungs. 
So the thing that you're not supposed to do, I did. Because I was panicked. I was like, you know, usually I'm calm, I'm cool. But I'm like, what if I'm just like, you know, I brush everything off. What if I'm wrong on this one and she's really sick, she's really hurt or whatever, right? So, so I get this text, I get the, this water around the lungs, and I'm looking, I'm like, what? So I'm looking, I'm like, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what the fuck that means, but that doesn't sound So I look it up and it... It's linked to heart problems. It's linked to cancer. It's linked to uh, a whole bunch of shit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? There's water around her lungs. <sighs> so, um, you know, I contact my parents. I'm like, what's going on? This is ridiculous. Like, how does that happen? You know, yeah, it's yeah, water around the lungs is, is like legit. That's some serious shit. You don't want that, right? So, now... I'm like, okay, Jesse's on her way out. Get the uh, funeral plans ready. Let's uh, contact the community. It's over. We're losing Jesse. And like all these horrible things going through my head. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, well, now what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm losing my wife. Like I'm thinking all these crazy things. Like all these stupid things are in my head. And I can only imagine what's going through Jesse's head. And she's got the IV in. Mom's there holding her hand. You know, she's thinking all the worst. I can't be there with her. It was driving me nuts. I couldn't be at the hospital. Probably for the best. Because as it unfolded, I probably would have started flipping chairs. So, uh... So, anyway. Anne's alone will heal you all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, all these horrible things are going through. I'm sure her head... Definitely going through my head. But, I, you know, I'm just like, alright, I'm gonna stay po positive here. There's got to be an answer. So when I was texting back and forth, I was like, well, you know, how do you handle this? How do you treat this? Like, what, like, what do you do? And then they say they want to take a, a, do a CT scan. And she had one like a month ago. So I'm like, it's another fucking bill. All right, if you got to do this, do this. And then there was a playful joke that went back and forth with her mom. And, and you know, I was like, didn't they do that ch with her chest? And she's like, yeah, yeah, you know, but they got to get her lungs and blah, blah, blah. And she thought I was saying, you know, should they do it over her head? And she started laughing. I was like, maybe they should while she's there do her head too, just to, you know, cover everything, cover all the tracks. So anyway, she gets the CT scan, you know, the doc looks at it, comes in. There's no, <laughs> there's no fluid around the lungs. There's no, there's no fluid around the lungs. So now... They come back, and this is great news, right? And I'm like, what the, who told you there was fluid around, like, what knucklehead would say to you that there's fluid around the, like, who would say that not knowing the fucking truth? So, we learn that the inflamed heart is not inflamed. The fluid around the lungs, no fluid around the lungs. So I find out that it was the tech that apparently read the, whatever, you know, the results and said, I'm not supposed to really say anything, but it looks like there's fluid around your lungs. You know, wait until the doctor comes in. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? Now, that's when I know if I was at the hospital, I probably would have lost my mind. I probably would have fucking completely lost and started stabbing people or something. Take off my mask and just start breathing on everybody. I don't know. Like, ah, you got COVID now. Like, I don't know. And, and it's not even, so the funny thing you say that, Steve Troy, because the hospital that she went to, it's like, it's like a, I mean, this place is just built and it's like, I mean, I, there's no one there. Like, we live in the freaking mountains. So I, that's what I was thinking too. But here's the deal, deal. The tech should not be telling you, hey, I think it's this. Let the doctor say it. Like, you shut your fucking mouth, stupid tech. Fire that son of a bitch. Like, I mean, what if the tech has no idea that Jesse... When she hears something, she goes to the worst extreme. And I think any normal person, if they found out they have fluid around their lungs, would lose their mind. <laughs> so why in the world would the tech say something like that? I don't know. Anyway, no fluid around the lungs. So now I'm like, what's going on? Like, like you got the pain in the arm, the chest pain, like you, you got IV in you, they're feeding you, whatever. What the hell's going on here? So we find out. That Jesse has something called POTS. P-O-T-S. 
POTS. That is what Jesse has been diagnosed with. And it kind of makes sense. Now, POTS is something that tall, slim women get. And these symptoms that she has basically check off all the boxes, even before COVID, even you know before all this stuff. Like right when I met Jesse, she was having certain things that basically check those boxes. And it's right, POTS, a marijuana community over here. So it's not serious, but it, it's something that is um, annoying, very annoying, right? And it does have to do with your heart and, you know, it, it is connected in some sort of way. So that, getting COVID, you know, having, you know, a perfect storm, mind going a little cuckoo, bang, she's in the hospital. So that's the situation. And honestly, I mean, I'm thrilled. You know, it's, it's nothing serious. So it's, it's fantastic news. And I apologize for dropping on the community section because at the, that time I was like, we're in trouble here. There's, this, is, this is not good. But after the roller coaster ride, we find out that it's this POTS. I'm thinking it's the fucking vaccine. Like now I'm going all conspiracy. I'm like, holy shit. She's got a swollen heart. The vaccine. Water around the lungs. Fucking vaccine. Like I'm thinking, don't get any more vaccine. Stop it. Apparently the vaccine had nothing to do with it. Even the heart doctor before she went to the hospital, he just says, it's, oh, it's probably some heart inflammation from the vaccine. You'll be fine. There was no heart inflammation. So it's like, it's, a, it's like this big guessing game. But thankfully, we have something that's kind of sticking here. So we have to keep an eye on it, make sure this is indeed what's going on. But she had a, a plethora of tests, the kitchen sink of tests, tests and um, she seems like she's good. So if anything, it's a very expensive peace of mind that, that came out of this situation. So that I think that's, you know, if you're going to spend a lot of money, you want to come out of it with some good news and a peace of mind. So, and I got to give Jesse a pass too, because I've been to the hospital twice thinking I had a heart attack, maybe, I don't know, but seven years ago, six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, when I had massive anxiety and stress, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on, you know? So that's happened to me before I've, I've, I've fallen victim to that. So that's basically it. That's in a nutshell. What's going on. It is great to hear, man. I'm, I'm relieved. Absolutely relieved. It's just like. I don't know. One doctor saying, "Oh, it might be heart inflammation." Meanwhile, it's not. This tech is saying it's it's water around the lungs. My fucking head's gonna explode just thinking about that. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So that's that. But it's just it's just so frustrating, man. I wish you could just go to the doctor, you know, run a couple of tests and say, "Okay, it could be serious. It could not be." It's just like. Well, if you feel this, go to the hospital. All right, she's in the hospital. She's fine. Like, now you got to, you know, run through all that bullshit. It's just crazy, man. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the glove touch. Guess who's got that Let Me Bang Bro sponsor signed? Zany face. Glad to hear Jesse is okay. I tell that piece of shit that you signed, tell him now we don't want him on the show. Because he won't answer our DMs. So tell him he can go fuck himself. I hope he loses. I hope Mike Perry beats his face in. But uh, congratulations, Glove Touch. Congrats. I have no time for people that don't want to read our DMs. I, he's dead to me. Julian Lane is dead to me. If that's the guy he sponsored. Uh, all donations are now $10 a minute. Yeah, yeah. So now the great news is... It was funny. I, like, while this is all going on... I was literally in the process of making like this like mega donation, like this absurd, let's just throw it out there. Maybe some knucklehead will, will, will do this donation type deal, like have this unicorn just kind of sitting in the description. And then this drops. I'm like, well, now we're going to really need that fucking donation. I'm still going to drop that donation just, just to see. But anyway, I was like, wow, that was good timing. Uh, PFC did it to me. Shit. Listen, here's the deal. You're 16. We've been doing this for five years. I'm 44 years old. I got no time for bullshit. If you fucking blow us off in the DMs, you're dead to me. That's it. Unless you have a damn good excuse. But I'm not playing games anymore here. I'm not chasing around these fighters like they're fucking hot girls. Because what's going to happen is this, right? Fighters, 
have that small window of being super popular, and then once the fucking window shuts and they're you know they can't fight anymore, we're still doing our podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't understand. I never understood like fighters big timing podcasts. It's like you know you could answer and just say, "Nah, I'm good," and then I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine with that. But I, I don't understand like just blowing off a, a show that's just trying to give you exposure. It makes no sense. You know, you could say, hey, politely, you know, I'm just not interested. So, and I'm, I'm good with that. Well, come on, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing? It doesn't help. It's not like we're getting more views having Julian Lane on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, many people think doctors' uh, word is gospel bullshit. I mean, yeah, it's it's a guessing game, right? Doctors are, are by the way, D-Rest, I really appreciate this keyboard, man. That was really nice of you. But you did you send us a used keyboard? <laughs> I have, I'm pretty sure... This is a used keyboard, but thank you. I mean, I'm going to keep this on standby in case something really goes down, but um, I hope you didn't jizzle. Wonderful, wonderful. Kainoto. Imagine if Jesse needed an emergency heart transplant and they found the donor that same day and it happened to be some poor housekeeper that died in a taco truck accident. <laughs> She'd have a poor person's heart inside of her. In Arizona, you never know, man. In Arizona, you never know, Right. God knows she'll have a maybe a bobcat heart in her. Uh, who knows with this scooping up over here? She said she went to the emergency room. No one was there. I'm like, where we live, it's. I'm like, uh, these go doctors know what they're talking about. But it is a difference between New York doctors and, and Arizona doctors, you know. But then again, what am I talking about? My parents, they're getting the run around going to the doctors in New York. So I think they're all they're all just guessing, you know. It's time to move to Canada. Canada, I tell you what, man. Even if it's shitty healthcare, at least it's you're not fucking paying out of the ass for it, right? Uh, it's the back vaccine. You know, it's not actually. I thought it was. Like, listen, I'm I'm like right smack in the middle right now because I'm supposed to get the booster. I'm kind of pumping the brakes. I'm like, well, hold on, I got two shots. What are we going three? Like, what are we doing here? I need more evidence before I can get this fucking booster thing. But I'm not opposed to it. But I, I mean, come on. What do we do? If I was, if I start traveling again, which I hope I do soon, then I'll pop the booster in or whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll play the game, but right now I'm in no rush. And I'm in no rush for Jesse to get it, too. It doesn't make any sense. You know, we're not going anywhere. You know? So, I mean, you know, I thought, like, as soon as I heard heart inflammation, I'm thinking, oh, my God. It's got to be the vaccine. It's got to be. Then there's no fucking heart inflammation. There's not. There's nothing going on. Like, it... It's a complete, it's a complete guessing game. The whole thing, medicine is, it's just like nuts. You got all this information stuck in your head, doctors over here, but it's just, it's educated guesses, you know, it's crazy. Uh, what's going on with Julian? Ah, fuck that guy. I like, I mean, you, you were part of that, you know, that group DM. I look at it like this, like, I don't got time for him. You know, like, if he doesn't have time for me, I don't have time for him. You know, either say yes or no. Res at least respond, right? But if you don't, if you, I mean, come on. We're, we're like, it's not like you're you're in the fucking NFL. You know, like, come on. You're in bare knuckle. Like, stop it. It's crazy. I mean, and I could call up my buddy in Tiger Life. Because, he, you know, he's sponsoring. I'm sure he's sponsoring Julian as well. And say, hey, do me a favor. I don't want to pull. You like, I don't want to. I don't want to make that call. Like, it's like I don't know. I don't want to be simping for these guys. You know, it's it's not really. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm off on this. There are a lot of more professional uh, media members and, and shows out there that will suck so much dick to have people on. I could. I'd rather have Joe Schmo from the regional scene on. You know. Uh, he's in camp and stuff. Yeah, I reached out to him before that, though. Like, I reached out to him before and yeah, nothing. It's just like, all right. But, you know, maybe he doesn't take, maybe he doesn't do his social media. It's possible. Very possible. But, I, I you know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to go crazy about it. It's just, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I mean, if I had a, if we had a ton of guys on the show, you know, and that was our thing, I'd rather have, Maybe down the road we'll hire someone to fucking, you know, fish these guys out so, you know, they can suck the dick. I don't want to suck. I don't want I don't I don't want to suck the dick. Uh don't beg Moss, that's uh yeah, right? 
Data 5000, so much better. Yeah, actually, Data 5000 was a good one. He was great. Very nice guy. He texted us after the show and very polite man. I kind of felt bad when we started laughing. <laughs> My mom says she doesn't think he really realized it, but there was one time where he was, I, I'm pretty sure he saw me and Jesse laughing. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I like Dada, though. I, I really do. I, I would love to have that guy back on. He's, he's fun. I'd like to have him hear us the next time, but he's a fascinating guy. What I wanted to do, and I couldn't because he couldn't hear us, was he was he was dropping so many interesting things throughout his ramble. And um, I wanted to stop him and say, whoa, 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 tell me about this. Like what like he brought up porn and I had to bring it up like after four hundred stories later, I had to run it back and it was like the the, the moment was over. Like I want to stop him in his tracks and be like, whoa, porn what? What like what what was happening there? You know? So you paid him a thousand for a sponsorship. Hey, man, listen. I hope I hope you get some. You'll get some good exposure because that's a big night. Bare knuckles, really. They're throwing all their eggs in one basket over there, so it should be a pr fairly big night. And what's it going against? Knuckle Mania. I know it's going against the UFC, but it's not like I don't think it's a pay per view. When is Knuckle Mania? Let's see. We'll be playing Gardens of the Galaxy. I don't know. I got all caught up in this shit. I'm so. I would today was so fucking stressful, man. I thought, I thought Jesse was going to die on me. Uh, <laughs> you make him lose the fight terribly inside of the cage. You make him spread his ass cheeks. Now you enter his backstage. And you fill it with your rage. Come on. Style bender one fight. Izzy is in Psychosta. Izzy is in Psychosta. You don't need to apologize for freaking out to the Mahal community. Shows you view them as your close friends, if anything. Anyway, I get 100 more letters, so I'm a just keep typing. <laughs> one perspective from the fighter is that it's their small window of fame. <laughs> oh man thank you joker man and he says what did he say at the end he said one perspective from the fighter is that it's their small window of fame yeah i mean i mean i it, it's a fucked up thing like I, I some of these fighters are are actually playing the game right where they're setting up post fight career yes super chat dark matter what up dark matter all the love to jess from the mahal's fam but I think Dada had something to do with it. My chest still hurts. <laughs> yeah, when yeah, Dada talking about heart attacks, I was like, oh, fuck. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. And, you know, that's another thing, too. Jesse is, you know, she she gets someone plants the seed. It's in the head. And, you know, it's, it's tough for her to shake when it comes to illness. Other things she's pretty good with, but illness... It's just like uh, too much potassium. I got it, the funny part about the potassium thing from last night is she needed a potassium pill today because she didn't have enough potassium inside her. So that was we got a good laugh out of that. But um, but yeah, Dada talking about his heart attack. Jesse was about to drop dead. Listen to it. How ironic, right? The next day she's in the hospital. But um, yeah. How did he uh, get that voice? So super chats are a little different. Um, on not the MMA holes. They're like, they're two different alerts. I left it on because sometimes it's easier for you guys. I am remember when he had uh, a little beef a few months ago. Uh, good on you for reaching out privately. And Mike, uh, hold on, I lost you. For using his words, I respect that. Look, Glove Touch showing a little respect. Thank you guys for the donations. Appreciate that. I'm looking for uh, Knuckle Mania over here. So it's, it's February 18th. Oh, it's on a Friday. Oh, that's great. That's fucking awesome. I was worried that was going to be against the UFC. Hold on. Let me pull this up here. That's great. This is a good card. All right. Thank God. You know, Bare Knuckle was throwing a couple of Saturdays together. This is good. Okay. Mendez's debut. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, I'm confused here. Why does it say Perry Lane? Wait, what? Oh, here it is. Shit, I'm like blind. So Palomino versus Brown, the title fight, and Perry Lane. Wow, it's not going to be like Chad Mendes is higher up than Perry versus Lane. That's odd. 
I mean, I mean, come on. Listen, Palomino's a beast. Actually, Palomino's probably a guy we could get on easily. Luis Palomino. But um, not a bad top three over there. Not a bad. And Glove Touch will have his his logo on Julian Lane. Very nice. Britton Hart, she's fighting for a belt. Maybe this is not the order. Hold on. Let's look at BKFC's website. Yeah, Jess is relaxed and she's kind of she put the baby uh to bed and she's she's just kind of chilling. BKFC. Appreciate all the the kind words from you guys, you know. I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but I was I, I'm going to be honest with you. I was I was fucking I was freaking out. Like I may look like, I sound like a fucking cold son of a bitch and dismiss a lot of shit, but yeah, today today rattled me. So maybe Perry yeah, Perry Lane is the main event. What's what's Tapology doing? Uh, events. I really like, I tell you what, man, Bare Knuckles website's tight. They're, they're, the look of their fights are pretty good. The production, they're getting some known guys. I mean, listen, it's not the top, the, the best fighters in the world, but they're damn entertaining fighters. So I, I think they're doing a great thing. And I think BYB could be right in the mix. I, I really do. I think BYB, they, they got something interesting too. They got some top talent. On the commentary team, they got Big Mo. You got the look with the triangle. You got freaking Dada 5000 who's bigger than... Even if you don't know who he is, I mean, the guy gets on the mic, he's he's riveting. <laughs> he's just screaming at you. They just got to get a couple of big names in there. Maybe when Dada fights, it brings more eyes over. I don't know if I want to see Dada fight. Kind of wanted to say that to him, but it was just like... It was so tough having a conversation. I That was the toughest interview we've ever done, not because of Dada... But because not him being able to hear us, the flow was like off, like so off. And I was just like, let this guy, let this guy go because at least we're getting something good out of him. But I, I really feel like we could have tweaked it up with him and we could have really got deep. I wanted to get deep into his childhood. I wanted to get into um, like the psychological aspect. You know, he was, he was running circles a lot. I saw Sean Hart was saying <clears throat> that he's answering the same things over and over again. You know, I wanted to trim the fat a little bit and really get into his head, but he was, he was great. I got to go watch Mr. 5,000. Yeah. I, I thought he was good, man. He was good. If super easy to talk to if if he would have heard us, it would have been even better, you know, but, uh, very nice guy. What a nice guy. CBD. My CBD, 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 It helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these for before or after fire training and make your life a better place. Make it a better place. We'll be playing Guardian soon. Moss, we love you, JHM, so much. JHM, get some rest, 20. Thank you, man. Thank you, Mike. That's really nice of you guys. Super nice. Super. You're like our comfort system over here. Like, we go live and you guys kind of just... Oh, look what Carl's saying in the chat. Me and my mom prayed for you guys as soon as I got home from work and she gave uh, me a scripture that I need to send to you and Jesse. I mean, like, that's fucking wild, man. That's, that's amazing. There was a guy, um, Sean Rosas. I don't know if he's in the chat. But he he put out a YouTube video for Jesse, and it was just like cool, man. Like it's just, it's super cool that you guys you know are so supportive. You almost lost your dad twice. Oh my god. Is he all right now? Is everything good? <laughs> Mike just got to be trolling how he spells names. I think Mike just kind of just lets the text fly. I don't think he he really proofreads. He just goes for it, man. We know what he's saying. Anyway, um, all right, so this is good. This is February. Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, Tapology is all wrong. So Tapology has it Friday the 18th for Knuckle Mania, but on Bare Knuckles' website, it is February 19th. So I was right. It is on a Saturday. Fuck. Oh, damn, man. All right, so what is it going up against? Ah, oh, it's a bummer. 
shit, man. I wanted to, you know, devote majority of the night to that. So UFC 271 is the week before, so it's not the pay-per-view, so that's good. What's the... Wait, PFL's back? Is it back already? Damn. Okay. Challenger Series? What the fuck does that mean? Challenger Series 1. What is this? 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Four fights. Challenger? Oh, are they doing like a Contender Series? Oh, shit. And when is that? Hold on a second. Tapology is the best, man. Even though they got the bare knuckle wrong, I would have never known about this. So Friday the 18th, PFL is doing the Challenger Series. So I guess it's like the Contender Series. I guess if you're, yeah, because these guys have like limited fights. Did you guys know about this? I had no idea. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'll give you something to play with on Food Girl Friday. Okay. Pretty cool. I like it. They're on ESPN, right? So it's... They're just ripping the UFC right off. Bellator is on Saturday. So, I mean, yeah, I couldn't give a fuck about this. Neiman Gracie, who gives a shit? Just because he's got the last name. Oh, boy. RDA versus Fitziev. Or Fiziev, as I think you're supposed to say it. It's a good fight. 6 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so Knuckle Mania is going up against this and Bellator. The Bellator I couldn't give two fucks about. When it comes to uh, bare knuckle in this, is, I'd be more interested in. But um, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So wait, is this is this the main call? What time is... Does the prelim start at 6 p.m.? I guess the prelims are starting at 6. So 7, 8. How many fights are in this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can't believe Circa. 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, 13, 14. Oh, boy. 14 fights on this card? This will run parallel to bare knuckle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The men's was uh, Champ Hawley from Goat Shed. He hung his belt up, and not a shed with the others, but in his karate dojo where he teaches children weekly. How inspiring. True goat. Yeah, Goat Shed seems like they have some pretty cool guys over there. Uh, Mas, yeah, that's my 56th birthday. Woohoo! Yeah, and whoa, why am I? What the? <laughs> what are we laughing? Wonderful, wonderful. Hell yeah, and get that five. You, you're gonna turn into Lawrence Taylor. He was a great 56. Number 56, LT, greatest, greatest defensive player I have ever seen. RDA all the way. Yeah, James, I think I'm going RDA too. This will definitely be a my bookie bet. RDA. So, yeah, Knuckle Mania is going up against this. I, I don't know how I feel about Bare Knuckle. I like Bare Knuckle and everything like that. And then I have these I have these weird feelings, too. I'm kind of like I teeter-totter. One minute I love it. The next minute I'm like, ah, I don't know where. I don't know why I can't, like, do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, like do you guys get that feeling of Bare Knuckle? Like, one minute it's, like, really cool. And then the next minute I'm like, I don't care. Whereas the UFC, I always care. So I'm, I don't know what bare knuckle has to do to make me always care. Moose knuckle? Yeah, moose knuckle's pretty cool. All right, let's play some Guardians. I'm wasting all this time yapping with everybody. I appreciate your company. Let's try to beat this game. If you're jumping in for the first time, you're going to see, hopefully, the last time we play this game because, I mean, we've, I feel like we've been playing this for five years. Moose knuckle FC. Yeah, I guess, yeah, PFL's the same way. I'm with you on that. PFL, I like the finale a lot. I like that. When PFL first came out, I was I was more into it. Now I'm kind of like, ah, uh, I'll miss this one. I'll watch that one. Like, it's it's weird. But the finale's good. I'll watch that, uh, that Contender Series stuff, though. The PFL, I mean, four fights, in and out get a contract could you imagine you get a contract like you're think about that you have like four professional fights you get a contract in the pfl and you have a chance to win a million dollars like talk about nuts that's better than the contender series i mean you have a straight shot at a million like right off the bat that's that's wild that that makes things a lot more interesting with pfl you know smart move too you start learning about these young guys 
build like a a roster of fighters, young talent mixed with uh, veterans. Good shit. I can't follow all three letters, acronyms anymore. Your mind can only learn so many. BKFC should be on Sundays or Fridays. Yeah, I wish it didn't go up against the UFC. I wish a lot of things didn't go up against the UFC. But, you know, Saturday night, that's, that's you know, if they want to sell tickets to go to the event, it's the easiest, right? So glad to hear Jesse's okay. Hope all MMA holes are doing great. Everyone, have a good night. Peace. Right, thank you, Apufu. Appreciate the kind words. Really do appreciate wonderful, that, man. Wonderful. The glove touch. Shout out to Boston comments. She's going to do Zoom interviews for Knucklemania and Vibe 9 for me. Oh, very nice. Wait, so she's going to she's gonna do the interviews. Wait, hold on. For Knucklemania and BYB 9 for me. So she's going to the event. Oh, no, she's Zooming it. So she's going to represent the glove touch. Is that what's going on? Glove touch. Smasher, man. Smasher. By the way, we followed her. We didn't get a follow back, so I unfollowed. Just don't tell her that, okay? We, I was just like, what am I following her for? Just, just a fun fact. Because after the event where you ran into her, I was like, who is this girl? So I, I went over there. I was like, okay, we'll follow her. We'll do the right thing. No follow back. Unfollowed immediately. I'm just I'm a petty son of a bitch. I don't know what it is. All right, here we go. Peter. I'm a grumpy old petty Peter. son of a bitch. Who Thank you, Glove Touch. And I hope it goes well. That's great for you, man. It's awesome. Yeah, put her out there. And she's rocking with the brand. You, you can't get any better than that. Damn. Glove Touch, she repla he replaced Kendall quick. <laughs> wow. The new power team. Uh, Jonathan Wolverdine smash. Okay, let's go. I forgot where we left. Oh, the chick. What happened here? I don't even remember. What am I doing? There's the daughter. She's exploding. Her head's exploding. Okay. You're almost there. Focus on me, Peter. Focus on my voice. Okay, what do I gotta you do? Have to find me. I gotta find you? You're, you're right. You're, you can still save her. You're right there, kid. I see you. Your head's melting. Peter. Over here, Peter. I see you. Oh, up? Follow my voice. Okay. We gotta keep looking up, maybe. I'm looking she up. Needs your help. Maybe over here. Come to me. Okay. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Come to me. I'm trying. Stop fucking yelling. It's the only way. What the fuck? All right, what is Focus going on? on my voice, Peter. Oh, shut up. Over here. I, all right. That's the beard guy. Find the source. Find the source. I'm with her. You're with the source. I'm right with her. Oh, shut up. <laughs> It isn't too late, Peter. But it's gonna be too late because I can't find Nikki the source he's talking about. The truth. <laughs> she's the key. Come, yo, her. Inside, she's still a child. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Feel my presence. Come on. The fuck was that? I had to look around. Would... That was weird. Dad. Dad. Hmm. Come on, get up. Backstory. We, <clears throat> we need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? Telly. Okay. It's your birthday again. By the way, I, I took the music off. I should, I should put it back on. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon, and I want everything to be perfect. We did this uh, already. Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Yeah. Be cautious. Snap her, snap her out of it. Let's snap her out of it. Come on. Listen to me, okay? None of this is real. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. No, I didn't. Yes! Yes. You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. What? Oh, come on, Nikki. She looks like a kid with a 30-year-old face. It's weird. We have too much sun. Yes, yeah, so we did this before, so what's this about? Take me home tonight. I don't want to... Uh Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Glove touch. I meet her at shift 268. 
I don't know how old she is, but I do know she's single. There you go. That I do know. And I got replaced faster and I don't know if you saw Discord this morning but she's publicly threatening legal action if I publicly her name. I'm scared now, lol. Uh, well, I wouldn't... <laughs> I, yeah, I would just I would just move on. I just made... I probably shouldn't even made the joke. Just move on then. You moved on. You got Boston Commons. Whatever the whole name is. Boston Commons. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's it. Good to go. And you guys are more in the age group, right? What's their Instagram? I'll show the people. I forgot the... Is it Boston Comments or... Make sure not to uh, follow her. Dad, the projector? The projector. Oh. I got this headache today, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's driving me crazy. All right, so I got to go to the projector. Where's this projector? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Ellie's going to be a year soon. It's crazy. She's on her way to 10 months old. Ellie's going to be a year old. What the, oh, should I put my jacket on? Shoddy knockoff. Stitching's all loose. Oh, not Can't believe I didn't see through it last time. What is this projector she's talking about? Don't forget the cake. I keep you on stay here. I'll holler if I need you. What's up with the Chewbacca? I see people complaining about the book of Boba Fett, saying Boba Fett's not in it. Anyone watching that? I'm not, oh, here it is. This is it? It's yeah. not some shoes. No way the real Corral would have allowed Nikki to have a pair of those. Boston comments. Okay. Let's see. Boston. Don't forget the present. Comments. Boston comments. I guess she's from Boston. Boston. The fuck? Let's log in. Hang in there, bud. Not now. What's going on with my internet? Buffering like a mofo. Boston. Try this again. B O S T O N. Oh, here you go. I think. Oh, shit. We are still following her. I thought we unfollowed. I gotta see if she's following back. Maybe she is following back. I don't even know. Let's see. This is... Oh, glove touch. Look at you. You gonna bash? You gonna smash this thing or what? <laughs> look, at, look at the glove. <laughs> there he is. Throwing the hard eyes. Look at the glove touch. Tony Clark's in there too. Tony Clark knows her? I know Tony Clark. He's an actually Tony Clark's a really nice guy. Uh, that's funny, man. That's funny. Glove touch. Come on, smash that glove touch. What are we doing here? She's probably around your age, right? She looks young. Yeah, she's got to be around. She's got to be young. She's got to be around your age. Glove touch in Boston comments. Hanging out, on the scene. Oh, there she's. In. Oh man, glove touch is probably beating off to this. Look at Glove Touch. All right, Glove Touch. There you go. Part of the Glove Touch team. Wonderful, wonderful. Kainoto. What do you guys think of the news about them coming out with a new Black Punisher? You can only imagine how what? I felt. I got a terminal case of pots. This woke <laughs> shit is why I stopped watching everything Star Wars. I stick to my guns. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I just heard that John Berthal, Bernthal, whatever his name is, is coming back. I literally read an article today that he's coming back to the MCU. So what is this Black Punisher? What's that about? Are they do are they doing it with um in the comics? Is that what it is? Well, if you think about it, it makes more sense, right? Because Punisher's an angry guy, his family was killed. Chances are Black Punisher lives in the hood, right? So it makes complete sense. I don't know what you all upset about. 
Let's see, Black Punisher. That time the Punisher became a black guy, CVR. The next Punisher should be a black veteran. It's just people saying he should. There's nothing here. The Punisher Volume 1, black and white paperback. Where'd you, where'd you read this? Baby's out. JBM's in the chat. Come in. Tell the story. I, g I gave the cliff notes. I don't see anything about Black Punisher. Yeah, I don't know. He's coming back, but the co-creator wants to replace the existing guy with a Black Punisher. I mean, there's, not, there's no articles about that. I don't know. What, what source is that? Nothing really popped up about that. Burnthal was good, though. That guy was like, he was like born for that role. UFC 270 sucked. Okay. Very nice. Well, thank you for the donation, Mr. Noto. Appreciate that. All right, I got to get a projector. I got such a fucking headache. What is going on? I got a migration. A migration headache. I'm going to punch this girl in the head. Humming. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dad, the projector. Oh, it's me. No mommy. wonder she wants this so bad. We look so happy. But where is this projector? What is it? All right, what is this production? Production. Where is it? I'll get back to you soon, girl. We just got to save the galaxy first. Google Punisher co-creator wants Black Punisher. So he's probably just talking about wishes or something like that. I mean, it's not happening. None of this seems oddly familiar to you. Oh no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. <laughs> Gla no, grass on the I baked it. Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Yeah, where is this? All right, there's a present here. Don't forget the present. All right, listen. Stop bossing me around. All right, how did I? Where, where is this projector? Why don't you tell me which room it's in? All right, there's a present and a projector. Okay, so I gotta look for it. I looked around here. I don't think it's in here. I gotta actually pay attention. Okay, I went to Gaylord's room. Present. Got it. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. Okay, let's go. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes. I found it. Okay, put it with the others. I did this Great. already. A gift. Put it on the table. Whoops. <laughs> I put it on the floor. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On nowhere. Remember that artist alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Cree Lara? Guess that answers my question. All that's left is a projector. You put her pictures in Discord. I have my MMA whole shirt on. Projector still needs to be fixed. You put her, her picture, I'm assuming, right? Let's see. Oh, here you go. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Aw, oh, what a cute couple. Look at these two. Adorbs. And we got the MMA hole shirt on. Oh, my God. You look like a young... Uh, what's that actor's... 80s actor's name? What's his name? Uh, shit. The guy that thought he was Michael Jackson. What the hell was that guy's name? Oh, God. He was in uh, Lost Boys. Oh, fuck. What the hell is his name? Christian Slater? No, not Christian Slater. Actually, you could be a little Christian Slater right there, too. Like Baby Slater. Look at that. Nice glove touch. Very nice. Corey Feldman. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. You look like a young Corey Feldman. <laughs> if Corey Feldman and Wolverine had sex... It would be glove touch. He always looks like he's going to beat the shit out of somebody. Right? It would be great if, like, the next picture, his, his fist is written in her face. <laughs> he's got so much pent-up anger. I like it, though. I like it. Uh, they want a new uh, 007 James Bond to be black. Yeah, they were talking about... Oh, who is this? Oh, look, it's Carl. Is that sober Carl right there? Is that Sober Carl? Look at that. Look at that handsome fella, Sober Carl. Look at that. Another enemy. Oh, like that shirt. Like that. Nice. Very nice. You guys are a good looking bunch. 
Okay. Yeah, it was supposed to be, um, what's his name? Idris Elba, which, honestly, I gotta be honest with you, Idris Elba would be a fucking great James Bond. I'm not opposed to that. Now, the female black James Bond, that's a little, that's a little far-fetched. Let's, I mean, let's, let's, let's pump the brakes. You know, that, that could be a little ridiculous. Dad, but, um, I have no problem with a black James Bond, I'm cool with that. It doesn't bother me. Now, it, it, it was a little weird when they had the uh, Miles Morales with Spider-Man, but then again, it's not Peter Parker. So if they just made Peter Parker black, then it'd be weird. But they had Miles Morales, a whole other character. It kind of makes sense then. That I don't mind. All right, where's what am I doing? It's, it's got to be laying around somewhere here. There's my boots. And then they make like the Kingpin black in... Uh, what was it Daredevil? The Daredevil movie? Wasn't it like uh, the guy from the Green Mile that died? That was weird. I remember I was a little weirded out by that, but Michael Clark Duncan is his name. But then I watched it and I didn't give a shit. Where's this projector? I probably passed it like 40 times. Just running around. We got the cake. What's this? Okay, Nick. That's a projector? What if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah. I can. Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. It beautiful. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. Okay, is this going to be another? I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. All right, Mom. Oh, wrong door? Okay. Take your time, Peter. Peter Quill. Do, 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 do. If he's not doing it, be pissed. Dad, get the door. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's gonna be a long night, guys. I was literally just at the door, it didn't open. Are right, you hiding? You're looking this way. It's gotta be this door. Why isn't the door not is it this door? Oh, it's this door. It's this door. Okay. okay. Mother! Oh, am I ever glad to see you? It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. It looks like a blue Gina Carano. A lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this. I'm dead, Peter. I'm dead, one, Peter. One. <laughs> I'm dead. Now let me get this across right now. I know she looks calm and shit. Don't forget she's from fucking Boston. If you watched her Twitch streams, you will be fucking shocked. Screaming at the top of her lungs while playing Call of Duty. Fucking hell, Arias. So there you go. You guys are meant for each other, it looks like. That's your future wife. Boston comments. Yeah, but... Not like dead dead. Right? She's dead, man. Dead, dead. Hey, Willie. I heard your voice. I do want to see the no, new Bond movie. You I haven't seen it here. Yet. I'm seeing you here now. Oh, my God. You're seeing a ghost. Blue Gina. Some part of me is inside the soul stone. But not in any way that's real. Oh, my God. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and Pretty me good, on Mercury? Man. Remember that night. So do I. So do I. 
But she isn't your daughter. What? She's not my daughter. What? I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. But I shot my load of you. Not... a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, wow. she's uh, okay. she's Chrome's daughter. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is, it's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You're touching my You have heart. to be. Beautiful story. All right, Laser Nips, get out of here. Beat it, Laser Nips. I know. She's gone. She's not there anymore. Now that she knows she didn't Where's come Mom? for my dick. Oh, she's. That was her, right? She's not coming. I'm not your dad. <laughs> I guess that was just, just Carlos telling us she's running late. All right, Which orphan. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. She'll come. Please listen to me on this, Nikki. Can we talk about this after Mom's birthday? Your mom's not coming. None of this is real. Quit kidding around. She'll be here any minute. No, kiddo. She won't. Stop trying to ruin it. Damn, bitch. Eat your any cake. Any moment now. Mom will be here. Eat your food and cake. Hey! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. It's a cake no! smash. I can fix this. Stop it! Why, you're a prick. It. Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! True. You're not my- Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and-, and all I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. I gotta keep my foot out of my mouth. I gotta not get arrested. I gotta console a 12 year old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this, the promise, Nick. Calling when I see one. This isn't about you. Uh. Why are you even here? Acknowledge right. the limits. I'm not gonna pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like. That's how Jesse looked when she left the house this morning. The same skin complexion. Empty. And heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one. Like your mom. She really, really loved you. Beautiful. I need her back. 
This is so beautiful. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. Uh, chat's crying. Blame Rocket. I distracted her. Jesus Christ. If you really want to blame someone, you should blame Rocket. <laughs> what? I mean, the bet was his idea in the it first was the place. It was back to anything. A, a bet. You're saying my mom died because you and no, your no, buddy decided no, to... No, of course not. It could be her. Pretend not here. Trust Nikki. Uh... <laughs> I don't hear it. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Seriously? Nah. Hear what? The knocking. There's clearly someone at the door. Or something. Okay. I know it's not her. Unless I believe it's her. That's right. So as long as I believe... Nikki, no. Believe with me. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. Again? The fuck? Laser Nips is back. I know. Did it? What the fuck? Where's mom? Wait. That was her, right? Did I? She's oh, not coming. Fuck. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just, just Carlos telling us she's running late. Did I do she something moves. wrong here? I still have time to get the music just right. What is going Destroy on? Destroy the lie. <laughs> can you Please double check all the birthday this, stuff? Nikki. Just can we talk about this? I I mom's not coming. None of it's this up is to real. You now, Peter. Quit kidding around. She'll be here any minute. No. Kiddo. She has to come. She won't. Stop trying to ruin it. Uh. Help her to see the truth. There's hey, your cake. What is wrong with you? Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna do this again. No! It's fine. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Did I do something wrong this. here? <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Nikki. It's not fucking real, None bitch. Of this is real. I hate you. You're not my dad. You're not my. Yeah, kiddo. I know. I guess I shouldn't have said the raccoon you ruined thing. It. You ruined everything. Mom was gonna come in and and. <laughs> All I want is to see her. <laughs> what? Whatever walks through that door. What? Help me make the choices, guys. Won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. Gotta keep my feet. Yeah, I, I shouldn't blame the raccoon. Gotta not get arrested. That was probably the wrong move, right? How to console a 12 year old whose very it legitimate grief might fault. just destroy the galaxy. <laughs> I can't fucking. But oh, this, man. Should I say the raccoon the again just Nick. for the hell of it? I know a calling when I see one. All right, this explain isn't her. About you. Try to relate. Acknowledge the limits. Explain her feelings. Why are you even here? I'm gonna try to relate. I'm gonna be sympathetic this, this time. Cavernous. I don't care how you felt. Wow. Um, I'm gonna be a real pussy this time. That was brutally honest. I've seen your promise. I've seen hundreds come through of the window. thousands of promises. None <laughs> of them helped me. Her head against I the know. Wall. I know. The dream, bitch. You're an orphan. I just want you to know that I've been through some version of what you're going through. I have aquaphor in my hair. Trust me. Yay! I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how well, they this were. Is different. Even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that. And then it's all my fault. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go through the stage with Ellie. It's gonna be rough. If I had 
and ease her guilt. Her. I'm gonna ease your Not guilt. Not the reason she's gone. Should man. I blame Rocket or no? Don't put that on yourself. It's okay, Why not? kid. It's true. If I had just It's not true. It's not. I'm here for you. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. I'm not your not the daddy. Reason mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. Oh shit, did I make the wrong move again? Pretend not to hear. Trust Nikki. I gotta trust you now. I trust you. You can reject the lie, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. See, I do have weird thing with eyebrows. Bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. Now, no laser eyes, mom, kid. For all her faults. It's not the galaxy eating type. But it doesn't matter what I think because Don't it's rage. not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So this is let's the right just choice. say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. I still don't know how... How does anyone... Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. <sighs> I have never used the word cathartic. Cathartic. Ever. Cathartic. There's other Anyone ways. Let me burn my hand! What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. I'm gonna sing you happy birthday and punch you in the face. The idea is that you light something to remember something. Dr. Boss, embrace your feelings. Pay tribute. Let it soak into your soul. I mean... This is an emotional moment. It's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. Kind of like masturbating. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Wish you won? Sometimes that's all we have. A shove it in her nostrils. Let me eat the candle. Cause you're not my daddy. I keep thinking back to the elevator. She was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned. Hey. Whatever happens. You're not alone. Okay? Thank you. There is something I do have to do alone. I must kill you. Fake daddy. Not again. Don't do it again. Did she say kill everyone? Alright. What the? <laughs> no, child! You must return! We should be turned to a lesbian? What happened? Is that Gozer? Let's go, Drax! Oh crap. No. We 
we ain't getting through that. We have to, or Golden Boy's toast. I gotta, all right, here Focus we go. Focus on Raker's fan club. Uh, oh, 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 remember, remember how to play this game? You sure think he's safe? I forgot how to play Raker. <laughs> Blind talking. All right, hold on. Beware! I want to grow stronger! Oh, you fool! You know what I mean? Fight me! Back. Throw that, Drax! Cease! I'm gonna concentrate on that one guy. So he does get his go around healing his pal. Here I am. Right your nuts, baby. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, uh. This is my favorite. Glance that off. bitch. It's party time. You. Well. This is infuriating. You will not bend. You will not bend. Nice. That's not fair! Rocket, 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 rocket. There you go, bitch. Friend unifier, please. Uh, who's bending who? Total magic! The sorcerer is healing the others! You're a sorcerer? No fair! This battle is huge! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, Quill! Rocket. I think the big ah, guy sees the stars! Well, that's not fair. There's a lot of guys. Drax is going down. Get over there. Slash it, Gamora. I can't figure out how to hurt this So which guy... Which guy's charging? Not beast. Beast. Ah, yeah, it's that motherfucker. It's this guy right here. Hold on a second. Ugly six times. And he should be the first to die. Okay, so it's this motherfucker. This guy right here, right? That's the guy? I think that's the guy. Guys, huddle up! Come on, man. Huddle up. Huddle up on this bitch. I cannot keep these monsters at bay. They keep pushing in. I am broke. He's right, Quill. We're in a terrible position here. Every Why are we time I like turn around, the Scott and Flark bags are too close. Oh! oh, oh. Look! I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. Uh, celebrate? Uh, we start dancing before we actually win? These scud holes will send us to our graves. Uh, so let's keep uh, our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? Do this Why? So much for leader. Why? Uh, yeah, you oh, might want to dodge oh, those Jesus. next time. Right, who's the guy that's powering these mothers up? Watch out! That one We're time time to get rid of the floaters! We almost got him, we almost got him. Oh! Ah! You motherfucker! Ah! And he's, all right, so this guy, all right, who's the, this guy? I can't get that guy. This guy? Who's the guy we gotta go with? This guy? His mother? I don't know, we're just, we're just, we're just like fucking doing shit here. Nikki, you're okay, right? Now. Looks like even she's got her limits. <laughs> What's next, Peter? Oh. Uh. What are you waiting for? Ah, get out of it. That one's redirecting fire. Don't shoot. The wizard gives them power. Is he dead? I think I got. I think I got one of them. Rip of a new one. Take your maker. Here we go. Rocket! 
can't recharge. Ah. What is next, Peter Quill? Oh, shit. Oh, where is he? Well, I mean that. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. He's almost gone. He's almost gone. He's almost gone. If you choose to be trying, so. Oh shit. Oh, fuck, we got him. Oh shit. This'll be it. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up. Peter. This'll be it. How you doing, Carl? Really how you doing, buddy? Work out there. Agreed. This battle has become laborious, even for me. Look, you think they're making you work, but I say they're testing your game, and we all love a good game. I was born to compete. Let's go show them how we play. Who's with me? Die, please! Can't wait to take him down! Feel him? Heathens, my Peter spear will Unleash me onto hearts. these fools! Time to take this is, this is so how powerful. it's done! How is he not... Marvelous. No! Oh, God. Marvelous. Uh, no! No! Please, not, not when we're so close. Marvelous. Marvelous. Spam versus Cootie Lob is off? That sucks. Please. It lied to you. To both of us. Old Flamehead. Look at it. Really look. My child. So emotional. Oh, he's dead. We killed the bearded man. Uh oh.
Dragon's free. Wonderful, wonderful. Unleash the dragon. Behold before you. It's Prince John to your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done. Oh, okay, Dada. Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. He was an interesting character, right? Shall we? Our door mass is await. Have we completed the game? I thought there was 16 chapters. I think we've completed the game. I think. It seems like we have defended the galaxy. There's probably like some music supposed to be playing right now. So, we actually won? Clark and right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in! <laughs> Next time, I, I promise I will almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Like they're all dancing. Let's make sure Dude. we bask in it. Wow, look at this. What a moment. Bask in the glory. <laughs> there you are, you old dog. We have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Oh, I had the kids. Of galaxies live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh, who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. <laughs> what a walk! The dogs are staying put. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> nice walk. Well fought, destroyer. And your delicate friends. The lady deems me delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> you, Rose. Uh, I, uh, Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Seknarf 9? We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. Mm. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. Okay, back to the... I like that dragon. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go on our victory walk. That's right. <laughs> Celebrate. We have defended the galaxy. Don't mind us. The dragon looks pretty cool. Yes, a victorious walk. Celebrate. You. Do, do you remember anything about what happened here? Galactic scale party. No expenses spared. Pretty tacky, though. And way too loud. Wait, is that Drax the... It is simply Drax. And that... Why, Halla, that's Gamora! Celebrity guests, you missed a legendary performance. What? <laughs> They're back to the... <laughs> what is going on? It's not over yet. We're just... We're still walking and celebrating. The llama! Oh, you made it! <laughs> not the llama, not the llama. I was pretty sure you would. <laughs> what, wild beast? <laughs> <laughs> what foul fluid? Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> mm. 
I am Groot. What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. I am Groot. What? No. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. Oh! <sighs> Please proceed. Nah, you go ahead. Was there a different ending? No need. I insist. No, I insist. Please, proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. There was a sad Which ending to this game, why? or is there one ending? You should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. Star-Lord. Take my card. All right, we did it. I could have finished it last stream. I didn't think it was... So, what now? Uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit, I guess. Clearly it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, it is. Maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh, shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know... Unpromise. Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. We do not own a first aid kit. He's got COVID. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. You probably just need some ginger ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply fabulous. Come on. I am eternal. Wait a second here. What is even? Wait a second. Mark. Wait a second. <laughs> what? What? I gotta go take a piss. I'll be right back. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy ends break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bought an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Uh. You could try to play but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they 
can't drag the chains, you can say no free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's, it's like, like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break, off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, we'll but you never gonna I'm kidding Alright, let's uh, finish this game I have a piss I like that, man Just when you think the game is over they drag you right in. Uh, that, yeah, that's not a bad song, right? That song, it's like a free song that YouTube, like, uh, what's the band's name? Or not band. Artist's name. Nefex? Yeah, they released actually, like, tolerable songs. Like, not the best songs in the world, but for free, copy royalty-free music, it's actually shockingly decent. <clears throat> Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like Bug Girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. What are you, like, four years old? Like. Unless you're from the IP2 network or a child, like I don't know, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. There's only 30 people watching for God's sakes. Waste your time on Luke Thomas's chat or something. I mean, what are we doing? What are we doing, bud? Like, no one's here, so it just like what are you getting out of that? Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny waits through. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. When that thing attacked my mom and me, it was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six! It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus! Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly! Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. By doing what you do best, Guardian. <laughs> No, nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating me. If anyone could piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> Do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better so to oversee? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! <laughs> then why are you clapping? Marking you, idiot! What? Ah! I said kneel! Oh, Lord! Are you kidding me? Stand back! Okay. I got this! Nikki, yes. no! Defeat Get out of there! Magus! Trust me! Yes! This is right! This is the way! Everyone to me! Now! You hurt my lady! Oh. Go, go, go! No! Hurry! Everyone, stay close! There! See? Told you I got this! Hey! That was 
was amazing. How did well, she's on our team. I just now. How do we beat so this son of a bitch? Send in Smoke the rocket! Mr. Rocket Man. You sound a little too excited about that! Terminated the creepy crawly! It was even there! More critters to cut! Oh shit! Get off of me! Ah! Oh shit. <laughs> Woo! Someone remind me what the plan is again? Make him mad enough that he comes at us. Alright, make him mad Too enough. Easy. So I guess I gotta run towards him, maybe. I don't know. Oh shit! <laughs> whoa, whoa! All right, so that didn't work. Oh, get in the rocket! Trash! Kick their foot! Anyone else feel kind of bad for Warlock right now? No, not even a little bit. Oh boy! All right, there's got to be some plan here. There we go. Oh, he's gotta kill them all. I am confounded by our location. Were we not just on the Milano? <laughs> Such dimwit grit. Why not just submit? The stone. You must use the stone. He's still too far away. Seems like he's hanging back on purpose. What are you waiting for, Quill? Say something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats, like little gnats. No, I nothing because nothing. Cat, bat, muskrat, Matt. You can ride. We get it. Seriously, how is get it hungry. possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splat, splat, splat. Quadro, Matt. You begin to annoy me. It's what we do. Combat, format, diplomat. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ah. We don't make sense. Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit. And now you gotta rhyme everything too? <laughs> Inconsequential ingrates. Okay, pretty sure we derailed him. <laughs> He's still on the planet, Bang! Nikki, you ready to save our butts again? Just Let's be go. careful. Hey, I'm the one with cool powers now, remember? It's definitely growing up. Protect so I'm just gonna say it. I flark and love you guys. I flark and love Everyone you too. Good? Well done, child. Come on. Okay, I definitely think we're getting to him. We just gotta hold out a little longer. Bye bye. Time to die. <laughs> oh. Hand-to-hand -hand combat here. Oh. Squish! Slime to number one! Let's keep them the shot away from me! Whoa! Okay. Oh, you're all ready for more damage! I must command you to the well. Whoa! Oh 
boy, oh boy. Watch your back! Better now, thanks. Thank you, Groot. Damn, man. Shoot him in the face! Just keep him the scot away from me! Next time, you're on your own! Oh, Fucking bomb, man. Thanks, buddy! Ah, uh, shit. Out the five. Okay. Oh boy, man. Okay. All right. All right. We 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 perished, guys. We perished. We perished. Not good. Not good. Not good. But we got this. We're gonna take them out. Just gotta kill some motherfuckers. You know. Those bombs that drop from the sky really take you out. Shoot me in the face. Squish the bug. Say it enough, so I'm just gonna say it. I flarkin' love you guys! I flarkin' love you too. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Good? Well done, child. Okay, I definitely think we're getting to it. We just gotta hold out a little longer. I can conjure armies at will. Careful! He is unleashing heathens! We have incoming bugs to crush! You sound a little too excited about that! Stick it to a group! Target practice, Will! Okay. See if we can shoot him down! How should we celebrate our destined victory? Yeah, let's go play the game! We're gonna utilize the Guardians! Call the good times. Come on, man. You literally just help us save the galaxy. Come on, and good you times. Know, all that other good stuff we've been through together. How is this reeling him in? Really not playing to our strengths here, Peter. I'm saying you're still Adam Warlock, who is definitely not a galaxy destroying villain. Wrong. Warlock was just our first form. Yeah. Magus. Is what he was always meant to be. Come on. I am the reason for the seasons, the planets, everything and all. I will rule everyone. 
does not sound very reasonable to me. I am the answer and the call. Okay, definitely not going well. Don't oh, submit. No. This is not the one where you should... I'm thinking this is bad. What the hell just... What the fuck just happened? I looked down for one second. I'm dead. Don't submit. You deceiving piece of shit. <laughs> I got killed, guys. I don't even know how, what happened. I just looked down for one second. Oh, man. I can go for like a chicken parmesan right now. Anyone got any chicken parmesan in the chat? Chicken parm? I got bit over here. Something Sooner or later, oh everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians. Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Okay. Submit to me. I Provoked. said submit. Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone. I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right. We're the guardians of the galaxy. Yeah. We have business cards. And we'd rather die than submit to you. You dare defy a god? Yes. Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst. <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very... Was too quick with it. I think I think I, <laughs> I hit the X too quick. I got a little slap happy. So I got bit by something right like on my elbow. It's so itchy. It's like a double bump. I think I got a spider on me. It is the it's one of the itchiest fucking bug bites I've ever had. Damn, it's itchy. I think something got me. Something got me in my bed. Let's try to do this this time. Got it. Yeah. Peter. Oh, fucking A. Come on, this shit. <laughs> I'm too quick. I just want to fucking hit it. Oh, man. Rub some dirt on it. It's crazy. Mexican mosquito. Yeah, it's got like two little bumps. It's so itchy, this mother. Oh, and it's right on like that little bump on your elbow on the inside. It's driving me nuts. It's so weird getting bit by things in February. All right, let's try it again. X. Yes. Next one is what? Triangle? I think. Okay. Next one is Soikle. Not too quick. Not too slow. Peter Quill. Okay, what's next? We got square next. The stone's gonna fry you, Quill! Like it did the first time! Just run! Triangle. Ain't no time to make up for what happened, you dumb scut! Just drop it! No! Then the idiot who released this bridge! I'm gonna be the one who puts it back in its bottle. Come on. Hit him with the triangle, baby. Yeah. I'm hitting the triangle. Hitting the triangle. Did they do it? 
I did it. Okay. But it didn't help my bug bite, so let you. <laughs> He's gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. It's like Spock. Get paid? <laughs> Not yet. That's like something I would say. <laughs> Does this mean it's over? <laughs> be something I say. Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell Destroy it. it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Thing. He says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis. The chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. Kick this guy off the ship. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. <laughs> Do you know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew, motley though you may be. I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for all the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> the mark of a man is to be bridled. None other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that I'm not the one you got to convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well, spit. Oh, no. <sighs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we did it! Was that... We did it, guys! We did it! Wow! We did it! What a what an amazing finale. It was fun, though. It was a fun game. Better than I thought it would be. If you think about it, in a lot of these these acting, like these games with all of the acting and story and dialogue, usually it's like it's like choppy and clunky. This one here, it felt smooth. It felt, you know, I don't know. It just it kind of flew. It like the flow is good. Whereas like you know a lot of these games, like for instance, that Assassin's Creed game was some of the worst acting. Like you just couldn't wait to get through the um the nonsense
Even though this this was a little long winded, I didn't mind it as much. Not bad. Uh, it's no for me, dog. Well, say, spelling dog D A W G is a no for me. <laughs> so I guess we're into different things, but um, yeah, because I like God of War a lot, and this reminded me of um, it took a lot from God of War this game, and just like threw it into a Marvel game. You can clearly tell they took ideas from the way that game flows. You know, throwing the jokes and and it's this game really very very similar. Was <laughs> he singing into the gun? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I actually genuinely laughed at some of the things in this game. You know, some of the story went a little bit long, but I didn't mind it. Definitely better than I thought. Uh, Dying Light 2. I don't even know what that is. What is Dying Light 2? I don't know. I got to figure out what the next game is. I, I kind of like story games. Sometimes these these open world games, they're fun. You know, you can play with other people, but then it's just the same shit every stream. You know, it's, it's the same nonsense. At least, you know, you get a story out of these things and you kind of have like a climax, whereas... Victory Royale. Like, <laughs> who gives a fuck? Yeah, Dead by Daylight I'll probably go back into for sure. That was fun. But yeah, it gets boring after a while, right? Same maps. Same nonsense. I made the same choices. Uh, Dogs in space. <laughs> space suits were cute. Wonderful, wonderful. Dying Light 2 in 10 minutes, even though it uh, is, looks garbage. What is Dying... I don't even know what that is, Dying Light. Dying Light. Let's see. What kind of game is Dying Light? This game is cheap, too, man. Like, it was, you know, it wasn't like the fucking $70 games. You buy these games at 70 bucks, which is nonsense. I'm getting God of War when that comes out. I can't wait for that shit to come out. That will be... You thought this took long. The next God of War game, that's going to take about two years for me to finish. But I love those games. Dying Light 2. So it was the first? I didn't even know what the first one is. It's a 7 out of 10 on IGN. I don't know, man. 7 out of 10, is that good? Guardians of the Galaxy... On GameStop, it's a 4.4 4 out of 5. I mean, that's pretty damn good. What was on IGN? IGN. Curious. Oh. It's fine. Really. Well, nope. we're not done. Couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl. She's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. So you just have to build another bedroom and maybe a bathroom and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so... Obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably going to be just, uh... Um, not fine. You can't look after a kid. You are a kid. You should arguably have somebody looking after you. Oh, crap. I mean, Nikki's great and all, but she's still going to need guidance and emotional support and... Oh, vegetables. Where the flark are you going to get vegetables? Hey, vegetables. Gru can grow stuff. I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes. Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Mitt Fultz, focus on positive. Wow, uh... 
They are not fit to be around children. Drax is a convicted mass murderer. Rocket is volatile and mean on a good day. Gamora's only parental model is Thanos and Groot. Groot could only say three words! And we could not be a more unfit group of people. But that's okay to admit, right? So you're a little scared, <laughs> terrified even. But that just means you care. <laughs> My man. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Dude's winking at himself. You have lost power. Sounds like a Nova Corps disabler. Uh, you guys paid your fine, right? Oh, fuck! fuck. Uh, I am Groot. Hold fast forward. Hold skip. Let's go. Fink Fang Foom. Yeah, story for everybody. <laughs> Cammy is the llama's name? <laughs> Camel mittens. So silly. So I guess turn pages. That's funny. Uh, that's pretty funny, huh? Yeah, I tell you what, man. Wait, what is it? Oh, it just it zooms in on it. I scroll. Oh, so oh, okay, I see. You can see it there. What the fuck? All right, so is that it? <laughs> That's funny, huh? That's funny, man. Not bad. Not bad. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I don't know how entertaining it was for you guys, but I, I had fun. I had fun. I had a good time. All right. Well, um, tomorrow we will be uh, doing Fuka Friday. It'll be wonderful, wonderful. I have JBM back in the mix. She is. If you're jumping in now and didn't hear the story, we told the story in the beginning. Um, she's doing She's doing well. She's, she's okay. She's going to be all right. So if you want to hear this whole full story, run it back, the beginning of the stream, and uh, she, uh, you can you can hear the fiasco of today, but 
thankfully, she got out in one piece. And uh, a little peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? Thank you, Drunk. Uh, Joe Rohan just was talking about, uh, well, talking about my idea to remove the heavyweight limit. To remove the heavyweight limit. So what, 265? Don't even cap it. Just have people like three, 400 pounds. Is that? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, it's Jesse's uh, physician. Mr. Moskini, your wife is in tremendous physical condition. And after many tests and observations, I declare her healthy. From what the in-law said, it's almost time for your colonoscopy. <clears throat> the chart here says you have the cleanest colon ever here at the hospital. It's true. It's true. You got a very clean colon. Actually, Jesse's probably cleaner than mine. Well, that bleach. You know? She's probably sleeping now. It was fun, Ma. Still, uh, our prayers won't stop for her and you guys. Thank you. Yeah, listen, this, you know, <laughs> there's guy, I mean, you know, I think it's time to start working on here, upstairs, you know? I saw I was telling her today, I'm like, once you clear up upstairs and you worry on downstairs, and then everything should go into place. You know, your mind is is pretty fucked. Especially if you're you're actually feeling something, your mind just plays tricks on you, you know, and certain situations you read things you look up things you know non-physicians are telling you things physicians are telling you things you don't know who to believe next thing you know you're going crazy so head right body right and you're good to go hypnosis you know she actually brought that up she actually brought it she legit she legit brought it up I don't know how I feel about it what do you like how do you feel about hypnosis? I I don't know. I feel a little weird about that. You know, like someone putting you out and then like retooling your mind. Like imagine giving someone the keys to your mind. I don't I don't like that. I don't I never want to be hypnotized. Never. I just I don't I don't I, it's funny watching other people hypnotized. I don't that's one thing where I have to put my foot down. I can't I couldn't do it to myself. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like that's just, I don't even know if I could be hypnotized. I guess you could. I guess anyone could if they do it right. I don't know. You wake up, yeah, clucking like a chicken. You don't think it'd work. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Howard Stern did it? Did he really? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm good. If it helps. Yeah, some people do it to quit smoking. I don't know, man. I would have to be there and supervise it because like, you don't like, I just feel like that's like putting you in that state. I think Jesse could be hypnotized. Like some people are super receptive to things. I think, I think she could be. And, and like, I don't know if I feel like, like that's a place you don't want to, you don't want to be for someone to go into your brain and then snap a finger and next thing you know you think in a, a certain way that, that is creepy stuff man but anyway has anyone been hypnotized in the chat like you ever go to like a, a resort or something or I don't know one of those places where they have the hypnotist and they put everyone on stage and then they're making them do like crazy shit I already do crazy shit Casting spells in my ass. It's weird. Howard Stern hypnotized Sal into thinking his cock. Was oh, I did. I remember that. Yeah, I remember Howard Stern used to bring hypnotists always on his show, but I don't remember him being hypnotized. Have you? Have you? I, I don't remember Stern actually being hypnotized. I remember. I remember him hypnotizing other, like having other people hypnotized. I do remember that. Maybe he has been. I don't know. I don't remember it though. Was it Shallow Hal, right? He was hypnotized. Or he was, I don't know, he was in some sort of place. In high school, a guy did it on stage, but they sent me away to go sit back down. Also, it didn't, you weren't receptive, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think I might be like that too. Like, I think I'd be so, I don't, I, think, I don't think my mind would be open enough. I'd be like, this is fucking stupid. 
So I don't think I don't think they could get into me, but maybe they could. Maybe maybe that's why I don't want to do it. Maybe I'm fear I'm fearful of them hacking into my brain. See, that's just that's just wild. That's just wild stuff. I don't understand. Like, but yeah, some people have done it to to stop addiction and stuff, and it's worked for them. I mean, I guess if you're if you're in a situation where your life is ruined by whether it's substance abuse or like if everything is if if it's a last resort and it could actually turn your life around then i kind of get it but wonderful wonderful you know some people do need that help i will make jesse better my years of experience and knowledge is well known worldwide also i include the partner in the treatment mr moscone you will of course need to be naked for this <laughs> Yeah, you ever see the ones where people on stage get naked and shit? It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't. I I mean, I don't. I don't see the. I don't. I don't know. I don't see the benefit of me getting hypnotized. I I I can't. I mean, I got I got issues, but not to the point where I want to reprogram my brain. I know it's true because they did it to my friend. Yeah, there are people that just go out like it's wild, man. Shout out to the Hypnosis Pro from Canada. Jesse's physician. Thank you guys for the donations. Look at that. It's cool. It's weird. It's weird, man. But it is fascinating. Imagine having that. Like if I was able to hypnotize people when I was younger, I probably would have done it all the time. Look at my watch. I would have done it all the time. Got my way. You know, that's that's a dangerous power to have if you're a young, young man, you know, well, what about the crazy, <laughs> what about the people that roofie people? They don't have to roofie people anymore. They just hypnotize girls at clubs. <laughs> you want to see a trick? Next thing you know, you're waking up in their bed. Like, what the fuck? How'd I get here? I don't know. It's a scary power. It's fascinating, right? It is. Right? It is. It's pretty wild. That's creepy, though, man. I don't know. My uncle was hypnotized, who never inappropriately touched me. <laughs> Did you have a panic attack or something? Um, no, I mean, she. Uh, I don't. I don't know what it is, to be honest. Like, I mean, we know it's it's called POTS. P O T S is what she was diagnosed with, which is a. Apparently, if you're a tall, thin woman, it's very common. So if you're short and fat, you're great. You're <laughs> you're not getting pots unless you're smoking it. But apparently, like tall, thin women have um, are susceptible to this. P O T S. I had to look it up. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" But it's it's a thing. Postural orthostatic tachyarrhythmia syndrome, ter teriyaki syndrome, or some shit. It's this POTS, and it and it like I said before it, it, like she legit has everything. When I met her, she was like fainting. She would get off of the ground. And she would like not. Like, she would get dizzy and feel like she was gonna pass out. She would get nauseous, nauseous and headaches. Usually light headiness, fainting, and uncomfortable rapid increase in heartbeat. Like she has all this. I remember one time when we first were hanging out. She's like, feel my heart, and I would feel on it. And it was like thumping out of her chest. I was like, what the fuck? I felt like it was going to explode. Then again, it was Adderall she was on too, so I couldn't have helped. But she still had the rapid heart uh, beat even when she got off of it. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's like a lifelong thing that you kind of have to deal with. So that's what she's got. You know, and then, you know, you get other things. You go a little crazy, you hear people you know, say, oh my God, you do this, your heart's going to explode, you do this, you know, like, you start listening to people on the internet and then all of a sudden, you think you got everything. So she had, uh, she had a bad situation this morning. Bad situation. Lots of POTS. POTS is a strange diagnosis, it's a salt deficiency. But yeah, it is a salt deficiency, yeah. That's what they said, they said she's not taking in, like, she's like, a doctor told her she needed more salt. I'm like, What? I mean, Grant, I don't eat salt at all. I fucking, I don't even like the way salt tastes, but it's just, I don't know. I don't need it. I, I never add salt. And I've already eaten shit that has salt in it. Like, you know, 
So I, I guess I get enough salt in my diet where I don't, I, it doesn't hurt me. But I guess Jesse is, she's not getting enough salt. I don't know. I have to go for a nice jog and have her lick my salty neck. You need some salt? Lick my neck. The pots will, yeah, maybe if she has actual weed, it'll, it will calm her down. I don't know. All there's salt in the chat. Yeah, it sucks, man. It's like, it's, it's weird. It's like the perfect storm, you know? And she did have coronavirus and, and she has like, you know, long-term COVID. Like we all have it. Like, I, I mean, I, I got it too. Like it drives me nuts, but, um, you know, when your mind starts racing in different directions, you think you're going to die. Panic, panic attacks equal adrenaline over, overload. Yeah, panic attacks are hard. Her panic attacks are like, I used to get them pretty bad too. When I was going through my divorce, man, right, and right before it too, when shit was pretty rough, I would get some, like I would drive and I would have to pull over and I just freak out. I'll get haircuts and freak out. Like not like, like start shaking and shit, but just like my mom, I felt like I was going to drop dead. You know, I feel, I feel like I was just going to collapse and die. And I went to the hospital a couple of times because I didn't know what the fuck a panic attack was. I got in my 30s. I started getting panic attacks. When I was a kid, nothing. Or maybe I did and I just didn't know what the fuck it was. But in my 30s, I started getting them. She, she gets them to the point where she's on the floor trembling. So, so yeah, this morning was a bad morning. Uh, I won't get vaxxed and I used to take six miles of Xanax. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a lot of Xanax. Yeah, Xanax is fucked, man. Xanax is 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 amazing. When I when I used to fly, like I I hate flying. Like now I'm kind of like I'm like nut up. Like it's funny, I got to the age where I'm like, what stop being such a pussy and now I can handle planes. It still freaks me out a little bit, but I'm not like a you know before I had to pop Xanax. I found out what Xanax was when I got on a plane and friends would give me Xanax and shit. And then I went to the doctor and he's prescribed me Xanax. I was like, this is amazing. And you go right to sleep. You nothing like you can get punched in the face. You'd be like, ah, that's okay, man. Like Xanax is awesome. But I mean, you can get dementia and like too much of that shit. will. I mean, you will become like a vegetable with too much of that. You can't take too much of that. So I got off of that. CBD helped with that. Xanaflex, not more than than a week. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. And my my doctor would have gave it like some doctors prescribe it like candy. It's crazy. When I went to the hospital for my panic attack, though, the hospital did give me Xanax, and bang, panic attack was gone. But there are other ways. If you exercise, you know, you push your body. You know, some people got to meditate. That's what the doctor said to her too. You exercise. You eat right. You know, you, you take moments to yourself. You clear your mind. You don't need Xanax. You're not going to have panic attacks anymore. You'll have stress, but you could handle it. Your body just kind of, you're in good health. So you, you don't need Xanax. There's a million ways to break anxiety and stress and, you know, panic attacks, whatever. There's a million ways. So, but now, you know, the baby... You know, she's always worried about her and, you know, you don't, you, she doesn't really get much sleep with the baby. I, I sleep, I'm like a log. Like I was worried because I was like, oh my God, she had to spend a night at the hospital. Baby be crying. I'd be out like a light. Like she's going to have to cry herself to sleep because Mystic Mom's not getting up. I sleep like, but if it's in the room, like I can hear it. But for some reason, like if it's just the monitor, I'll sleep right through that shit. Maybe I should put the monitor right by my head. So I can get up and kind of throw a pacifier in her mouth and go back to sleep. But she'd be screaming all night. Fook meds. Yeah, man. If you don't have to take them, don't. Some people do, though. Some people have serious conditions where they have to take medication. But not when I had all my surgeries, three surgeries, I sold my pain medicine, <laughs> which is not, I don't, you shouldn't do that. But you make good money on it. Um, I, had a, I had a junkie friend that would buy it. So I was like, all right, I'll make some money off of this. Became like a drug dealer. But um, don't do that. It's wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't take pain meds. I was like, I would deal with it. The only I got to say though, COVID knocked me for a loop. I had to I had to at least take Mucinex. I had to take that. 
COVID fucked me up. But yeah, surgeries, it's crazy, man. Surgeries, I didn't take any pain meds. COVID, I take medication. <laughs> Fucking COVID. Uh, women are easily awoken by high-pitched noises. Yeah, they have that instinct. It's crazy. Now the baby's a little bit better. Jesse's got her on a routine, so she's a lot better. But yeah, Jesse's a machine, so she's burnt out, you know? There's a lot going on. And then she does be a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff with the show. We had to cancel a sponsorship call today, which bums me out. I hope we didn't lose them, but it's crazy. We're going to have like 40 sponsors <laughs> to pay for the medical. <laughs> we're gonna, you're going to tune in one day, and we're just going to have like a fucking, it's going to be an hour of sponsors. <laughs> we're going to be like uh, Wayne's World. We're going to have products in our hands. <laughs> Every way you turn is a fucking product in our hand. Completely sell out. But um, we'll, have, we'll make it fun. I switched from weed to sleeping pills on occasion from insomnia. Not really what I wanted to, but uh, I'm better for it. I mean, yeah, you got to sleep, right? I, I mean, I, I can't see sleeping pills being good. What about CBD? CBD is great, man. Like that's, But it's expensive. That's the only thing that sucks is... Like we had Mystic Roots. They were great. We Unfortunately, we don't have them anymore. But we still love Mystic Roots. They got a great product. I don't know what the deal is with them. You know, they got some stuff going on. But <laughs> Glove Touch will sponsor us. Oh, man. No, nah, Glove Touch, man. Like, I would like to, uh, I really would like to do something. I mean, Jesus, fucking Glove Touch donates. He's 16 years old and the fucking kid's donating to us. I'm not going to turn it down. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I would like to, I really would like to, um, collaborate more I think he's very talented and and when we can get to the point where we can put you know on payroll I would love to get you know to do that but if anything we can get you some exposure we'll definitely do that forget glove touch do interviews on a fourth channel for money bro we could I mean we could do that too we can you know go the James Lynch route and just fucking do interviews and and do shows on other people's channels we could do that it's kind of lame for us, at least. I don't know. It's just that's that's not our. I feel like that's not our lane, you know. Now, if someone wants us to do, you know, if someone's gonna pay the right money and we we could do like a fucking weekly spot on their channel, then maybe I'll do, maybe we'll do a show or something. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. I guess you never say never, right? Weed made me paranoid. I had a bad run in, in college with weed. But then I went back to it, and, and then I stopped. I just stopped altogether. But yeah, I had a I had a weird run with weed where I was like I was all fucked up. I was lazy, and um, I just couldn't. I wasn't productive in any way. Yeah, CBD is expensive. That's why I would like to get another sponsor to kind of soften the blow a little bit. It works. The if you get the right, that's the problem is you got to get the right place. We've had CBD before. That's just trash. It wasn't good. But Mystic Roots was legit. Like their their um, drops were like a miracle for me. Like I legit substituted that for Xanax, uh, Xanax for that, and um, it was amazing. Like Mystic Roots is great. Now I barely take any CBD. I'm I'm like I'm good. I'm good. But if I got super stressed, I would hit some of the stash, the leftover stash. Can't wait for the Glove Touch uh, embedded MMA whole series in two years. I think I I think glove why is glove touch still up? What the fuck time? Don't you have school? It's Thursday night. Maybe glove touch is doing what I used to do. I used to listen to uh I used to listen to love lines in my bed with headphones on. So my parents didn't know. And I would listen to all hours of the night and be exhausted during school. But I don't think glove touch is glove touch's father's pretty cool. Let's get away with everything. I guess you get good grades. He's he's cool with you, right? Uh, let's see. I won't even take Tylenol. But yeah, I, th I think Glove Touch is uh, the kid's talented, man. He's only sixteen years old, and he's he's putting together like posters and shit. He's got, he's traveling. He's doing press. It's great. Sativas are good for a daytime. Yeah, I would like to. There's a company that uh someone in the chat. I won't say his name, but someone in the chat um passed our way. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny actually yeah Dr. Drew Dr. Drew and um, what's his name 
Adam Carolla, I used to listen to every night. They were on like super late. And uh, I would I was I couldn't believe what they were talking about. I learned everything from them. Um but uh yeah, there was a uh a CBD sponsor. I mean, it's still the door still open, but it's hilarious. They were so interested in us. Like they were like, "Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this." And as soon as we sent them our rates, <laughs> they never responded back. They just like Oof. they just like ghosted. They were gone. Like not even like, "Okay, we'll think about it." It was just like no answer. And me and Jess were laughing. I'm like, "You know what? When we started with the sponsors, we were super soft with the price. We were literally giving like free advertising away. And now we're just like sticking to our guns." You know, it's like if we're going to plaster you all over the freaking show, I'm not, you know, we, 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 we stop the show, the whole momentum to fucking shout you out, you know, you got to have to pay. So they didn't, <laughs> they didn't get back. <laughs> but it's all right. It's all good. We're not looking to, you know, suck them dry. We're looking to work together. Completely different. I have uh, guys that only smoke indica and say sativa. They can't even smoke and vice versa. Yeah, I guess everyone's body's different, right? I guess that's what it is with, with weed. People handle, I mean, everyone handles things differently. I kind of hope that this this sponsor works out, though, because they do THC stuff. And, I mean, if anything is going to fucking fit in with this group... It's this sponsor. Like they, they, they legit have like warnings that this shit's gonna get you. You know, you're gonna get high. So I'm like, all right, let's. You know, this is this is the one. But the the, the stars gotta line up. I stayed up all the time too, watching them too. I was always tired for. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I just listened. They were on like, um, I think they were on K Rock or something in New York, and I would have my little Walkman. I would make sure the batteries are nice and charged. And I would listen to those two guys. I like Adam Carolla because he's like a he's a very dry sense of humor. And Dr. Drew, they played well together. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? I hope it turns into Spider Man. I really hope that shit was radioactive or something. I'd be climbing walls. We weren't this spoiled in the late nineties, early two thousands. Now you can pick exactly the bounce. That's wild. Yeah, with weed. I didn't know what the fuck I was smoking. I had no idea. My friends would get it and I would smoke it. Like that was it. Like I never I never really bought weed. Like all my friends were like fucking junkies. So someone had some sort of weed and I was like, "All right. Let's go." I never like I never bought it. There's people who were just passing blunts around and fucking bong. It was bongs were big. Like everyone had a fucking bong. I guess it was I don't know. I don't know what the thing with the bomb. Everyone had the weird looking bomb. Like one shaped like a dick or one was a dick. I was sucking dick and smoking weed. I didn't even know what I was doing. Like every time we would go to a, a friend's house, there was like a bong sitting on a table. And I was like, all right. And I would try to act cool and, you know, try to smoke it all cool and shit. How you sleep now? Who, me? How do I sleep now? Uh, I'm pretty good. Yeah, but oh, this is my new problem. I'm grinding the shit out of my teeth. I mean, I've been doing it, but it's worse than ever. I I'm I blasted through another fucking cap on my my mouth. So now they made another mouth guard at fucking four hundred bucks. It's crazy for a piece of plastic to shove in my mouth or porcelain. I should say. I don't even know what it is. What is it? Acrylic? Acrylic? That's what it is. Four hundred dollars. Three seventy one. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? He's like, oh, that's the deal. I'm like, what the fuck? Rip my teeth out. But yeah, I'm grinding my teeth. Wonderful, Does anyone wonderful. else grind their teeth in the chat? I would love to have another grinder. This is a legal to. document indicating a significant bill incurred by some horny, freckle-faced, ginger-haired teenage perv soiling his white cotton socks from our program. <laughs> we will need to receive $4,856 by the end of the week or we are <laughs> taking legal action. You know what, Love Lines? There's a stack of bills on my table downstairs. I, th I hope Jesse looked through them. But they were sitting on the... <laughs> just added to the stack. <laughs> added to the dining room table stack. Just medical bills. And we'll, 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 we'll have our team look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, does anyone else grind their teeth? 
I fought MMA without sleeping because I was I used to Xanax to sleep. Oh man. Jesus Christ. Amazon has mouth guards for 15 bucks. Yeah, no, it's so I got that. I actually just bought here, I'll show you what I bought. Because it's gonna take two weeks. Those mouth guards don't do it. Don't do it. I'm grinding through them. And it's like I mean, if I did those disposable, here I'll show you. Is my, I mean, what is going on? Like, what is going on with grinding teeth? Like grinding, like how stressed can you be that you're grinding your? My whole row over here is all grinded down. So here's my old one. This is, this was, I had I had like fucking Obamacare insurance when I was in New York because we were like literally making peanuts, and um, so I was able to get this puppy. This over here, right? That goes on the bottom. But you're not going to be able to see it because I don't have like a zoom. There's like, <laughs> I literally grinded that down. So now I grinded down. There's a hole right over here. And my crown is just broken. Back there. It's the second crown I had to get. So both sides just gnawing down. I'm like, what the fuck? You could actually hear me grinding at night. So then I was like, all right, well, to hold me over until the other, because I had to get the other one. So that's 370 out the window. And then I had to get the, these are the, like the, they're called grind no more, which is bullshit. And it's green. So you're not gonna see grind no more placards. And there's like 16 in here. They say up to 48 uses. I mean, I'm getting two nights out of one, two nights out of one. It's just grinding down. It feels like, it feels like shit in your mouth. Cause it's not like they have to do like a mold to, to get it to actually sit nicely in your mouth the dentist at least so i got these things and it's just rolling around and i don't know how you don't choke on it like it's just i mean it could pop right out of your mouth it's crazy man it's crazy does anyone am i the only one that grinds teeth here like it's nuts i'm like who the fuck apparently a lot of people do it a lot of people grind their teeth i don't know why the fuck i started doing it it was, it was crazy. that's another thing in my 30s i don't know what the hell happened in my 30s i just fucking start grinding my teeth like you could hear it. I don't know, Dr. Boss. You're supposed to tell me you're the doctor. You should go to Brazil. Everyone wants to send you uh, to the dentist there. Yeah, get, maybe I'll get some, uh, what's it called? Get some of that stem cell in me too. Some guy at the gym was telling me about some stem cell to put. I, I like Quinta. Didn't he go to like some place out of the country to get stem cells? Your brother used to grind his teeth? Yeah, it freaks me out, man. You get hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, you know what? Maybe I will get hypnotized. Maybe I will. You know, I, I would love to stop grinding my teeth. It would save me a lot of money. And then you wake up, your fucking side of your head is... You could feel it like an ache. Rogan promotes stem cells. Then it's got to be good. Dr. Rogan. No, but stem cells is supposedly... A guy at the gym... You know, that's another thing. Why, like... I'm at the gym and I'm doing these flies, right? I can't really do much. 
I got I got three shoulder surgeries on this p- side. My collarbone sticking out of my fucking neck on my shoulder. Connected. That's sticking out. I had a shoulder surgery on this side. This side not so bad. I'm I'm all right on this side, but this side over here still clicking and popping and not as strong. So I'm not doing crazy weights. I'm just doing these flies. I can't even put it all the way back because my shoulder extension is not that great. So I'm stuck with all this old people shit. And I'm doing these flies and then I'm like five exercises afterwards. About to wrap things up. This old guy comes up to me. I'm saying old. He's probably 10 years older than me. Which is actually is pretty old. Comes up to me and he's like, I was watching you do those flies over there. I'm like, oh, here we go with this guy. You know, you made me take my headphones out for this. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Well, what's you know, what, what kind of tips are you gonna give me? And he's like, do you have do you have shoulder pain? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, I can't do a full extension because I don't want to fuck up my shoulders. You know, it's I just want to just get a workout. And he's like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting stem cells because I had shoulder surgery too, and I got these pains and blah blah blah. And apparently, like they they take it out of your blood and they just reinject it, like back into your freaking arm or shoulder or whatever, and it's supposed to like, boom. You feel great. I'm like, let me know how that goes, bud. And stop fucking staring at me. Yeah, maybe he was hitting on me. I don't know. He had a boner. Was that weird? He had these tight pants and a big boner. And then I got all pissed off because I'm watching him. So now we're working out next to each other. I'm like, all right, this guy's fucking staring at me. But he throws his leg up on the, the rails to stretch. And he's doing like, I hate that stretch because I can't do it. Where the you throw your leg up high on something and then you're touching your toe. I can't do that. <laughs> my fucking hip would just fall out of my body. Like, like my, I, I couldn't do I can't even touch my toes. And this guy's throwing his fucking leg up on there. Got 10 years on me. Just stretching away. Just showing off his flexibility. Like Joe Rogan-esque. I was waiting for him to drop into a split and then touch both toes. So I got all mad that he was all flexible. And I went home and I started grinding my teeth. Out of fury. Out of furious rage. I'm so miserable at the gym. I just don't want to be bothered. I just I just put my headphones on. And then I'm like looking around, like because there's like there's like like teenagers working out too. I'm like, oh, they must recognize me. I'm so popular on YouTube. They're staring at me because they recognize me. They don't know who I am. But in my head, I hope they do. I'm like, well, I hope someone knows who I am. I'm so goddamn famous. But no. They don't recognize me. I'm just the old guy with the shoulder pain that grinds his teeth. He was doing uh, the creeper stretch with the sack. <laughs> yeah, gym people are weird, man. He was trying to show me his balls. Unfortunately. But then, you know, another weird thing too now is there's another old guy that goes there. It's like a geriatric gym. And, uh, yeah, I wish, I wish like one person would recognize me, you know? Oh, that's the guy from YouTube. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Like the only way I get recognized is if I go to an event, if I go to an event, that's a whole different ball game. Then, you know, I'll have people coming up, but, <laughs> and maybe it's better. I don't get recognized because I'm so antisocial. I put the fucking headphones on and I just, when people stare at me, then I have like these, I have these th- theories. I'm like, oh, he definitely recognizes me or, oh, he thinks I'm gay or something. I don't know. But um, I was talking about seeing that like like these old guys when we I, I'm afraid to go to the bathroom because everyone's naked in there, and now I know what this guy looks like naked. And every time <laughs> every time I see him walk by at the gym, I just think of him naked. Like it's fucking bizarre. Like I'm like this guy, this old guy. I don't even want to make eye contact with him because now I know what he looks like naked. So I'm like, this is fucking weird that I know. What the fuck your dick and balls look like And like how your ass sags And every time this motherfucker walks past me in the gym I just bang the clothes are gone he's naked And it's kind of weird to think that But it like what like it's horrible don't do that Don't don't go to the fucking bathroom and just run around naked Wonderful wonderful Cause now I'm gonna that's all I see when I look at you Excuse me, cutie pie. <laughs> I have been watching you for 40 minutes and couldn't help but notice you may have some shoulder problems. Yes. You have been lifting something fleshy and heavy sexy. Wanna stop by and I use my Dr. Ho all over be you crumb cake. Okay. 
Thank you, Jim Stalker. There's the Jim. That's him. Yes, definitely homosexual thoughts for sure. No, it's just, it's, it's like haunts me. My home, my homosexual thoughts, I can't get out of my head. But I'm the type of person when I see something, it's like I, I snap a picture in my head. I have this weird thing that if I see something that's traumatizing, I can't get it out of my fucking head. So now I feel like telling the guy too. I feel like saying, listen, man, I just want to say this to you. I saw you naked in the bathroom one, <laughs> one day. And every time I fucking see you, now I, now you're like you're everything's gone. Don't stop doing that. Just stop fucking getting naked in front of other guys. Do it respectfully in your stall. Wash yourself. Bring a towel in there. Put it around your waist. Respectfully put your pants on where no one's fucking looking at you. You know? But um you know, I don't know. Maybe he wants people to think about him naked. I don't know. I'm turning gay to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> but all the guys walk around naked with kids around. I don't know. It's weird, right? It's fucking creepy, man. I don't I just, I don't get it. I, I understand. Yeah, we all have the same parts. They're all different sizes. I get it. They're all shaped differently. But, like, I, I don't feel the need to see another guy. Like, I don't want to see it. And what am I going to do? Walk around with fucking, like... My like this like like I'm trying to wash my hands. I look up for one second and there's a guy bull sack like just swinging around the behind me or his fucking saggy ass cheeks like I like what the fuck I don't know. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just a weirdo that just fucking like like I I, <laughs> I should just turn around and say the next time I see you with all your clothes on. I'm going to remember this. I just want you to know that. So can you just fucking keep that away from me? But th then, like, maybe the people, that's what they want. Because why, I, I don't, I can't, maybe I'm going to get to an age and I'm going to start swinging my dick around. And Like, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to run around and, and streak. Right? I used to do that. But I, I don't understand that, like, I don't get it. You're fucking in the bathroom. You're by the lockers. You just took a shower. And you're fucking drying your hair with your cock slapping against your thighs. What do you what are you getting out of that? Like what's like well, your nuts fucking hitting your fucking knees as you're drying your hair? What's the purpose? Do they do they do that in the women's bathroom? Does like all the girls like That'd be a lot better. And then, yeah, I should get him some sheath. Some sheath underwear to keep everything all together. It's so weird, man. We all revert back eventually. I don't know, but I think I'm fucked up. It's why I grind my teeth. Because these are the stupid thoughts that go through my head. And it, and it, it like, haunts me. Like, I have nightmares about this shit. Yeah, it's fucking guys. He's propelling around the, <laughs> the locker room. <laughs> he's like this. And his dick is propelling him around the place. He's just floating around, <laughs> banging into lockers. That's so odd, man. It just did, like she looks at me like, well, like, like, what's going on in the guys' bathrooms? I'm like, it's horrible. It's like, and then I found a new bathroom that there's no locker room. It's just a fucking bathroom. So now I'm like, yes, no dick and balls. But here's my problem, and help me out with this one. This is like a therapy session right now. I should be in bed sleeping. I have a big jug, a gallon of water that I drink at the gym, which is, has been very nice. It flushes me out. I get the proper hydration. Dustin Poirier would give me a high five if he knew this because I stay hydrated. So here's my, here's my problem. My big jug of water. Now I go into the other bathroom, the dick-free bathroom. I go in that one, and I don't know where to put the jug. Like, I feel if I bring the jug into the bathroom, all the fecal matter that's just floating around in the air is going to somehow get into my jug. Or if I have it closed, it's going to be all on the outside of the jug. Like, where do I put this fucking thing? Even though I know the locker room is kind of connected to the bathroom, at least in the locker room, I can kind of tuck it away where it's not going to get contaminated. But what do you do with the jug? Where do you put the jug in the bathroom? You can't, like, rest it outside. So what the fuck do you do? So I'm tortured. I'm going into this bathroom and I'm like, I want to put the jug under my shirt. 
What do I do with the jug? Where do I put this damn thing? Can someone give me a goddamn answer? Because I, I actually need the answer to this. So I'll wait. Yeah, I know I breathe it, but it's like I don't want to drink it. You know? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to drink it. We received your application and have approved your instant access to all of our new friendly venues, barbecuing, softball, pardon the pun, outdoor twister, and of course our famous exercise room. Welcome to the association. <laughs> Nude Friends of America. <laughs> Thank you. I do worry too much, but I you know what it is? It's not even a it's not a worry. It's like, um, I guess it is a worry, but I don't know. It's, it's like a fucking curse. You think like me, Carl? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like other people think it. They're just embarrassed to talk about it. You know, it fucks me up. If it all fucks me up, I don't know what to do. I can't bring the drink into the stall. Like if I got to take a shit, what do I do with the jug? Where do you put it? The other day, I put it on the counter where everyone washes their hands. But then I'm like, what if I'm shitting and someone goes in there, opens it up, and spits in my jug? <laughs> like, that's what's going to my body. Like, someone's just going to hock a loogie in my jug or something. Or or I'm just like, what if some weirdo, like, fucking takes a piss or wipes his ass and just, just touches the jug just to be an asshole? I don't know. There's a lot of weird people out there. I'm just glad it's not me. I be antisocial at the gym and don't want no sacks <laughs> within COVID safe distance. From yeah, but then when you have to pee, where you go? I got to pee all the time. I'm drinking so much water that I'm I'm pissing like three times during a, a workout. So I'm like, is three is good, a good three stressful? And then when you're drinking all this water, you got to take a shit. I hate taking a shit at the gym. I, I want to go home to the bidet, but I'm flushing myself out. I'm moving, I'm shaking. Sometimes things get going. And I got to take a shit at the gym. And then I hate, I don't want to be that guy, you know, that stinks up the whole fucking bathroom. So that kind of sucks. You don't want to be that guy. It's so weird. I hope Ellie doesn't inherit this shit. Ah, what a life. What a life. You toss salad? <laughs> I don't toss salad now. I don't. It's not my uh, thing. Does anyone toss salad in the chat? I mean, I'm not into that. That's kind of... I don't know. I got friends that do that shit, but uh, nah. I'm just juggalo. <laughs> Can I get a pouch with a strap? Yeah, I should. It's such a big... Maybe I should just downgrade to a smaller container and then throw it in a backpack but then where do I hang the backpack like you know how they have that hook like you go into the bathroom stall and they have that hook there I'm like that's probably the dirtiest hook of all time because when you flush a toilet just everything like the shit just sprays up in the air you ever see those like <laughs> those studies like when you flush that toilet they're saying that that there is just fecal matter ba bang it's just it's just everywhere if you're sitting on the bowl and you flush the toilet it's just an influx of just crap flying back at your body you know so now I'm thinking if I put this thing on the hook I feel like the hook is disgusting the door is disgusting because all the from the toilet splash sometimes I just, I just gotta suck it up right I just go in there I'm like alright we're just gonna deal with this but it's so fucking weird man it's so weird Intrusive thoughts. Well, that would be me like just wanting to stab someone in the face or just like, like, oh, that's a cute baby and just fling it against the wall. That That's more intrusive. I used to get those. I used to get those feelings where I had this, I went through this phase like in my 20s. Like if someone had a baby, I didn't want to go near it because I would have this thought, like I would never do it, but I had this thought of taking the baby, just flinging the baby. <laughs> like what would happen if I just fucking took this baby and just chucked it at the fucking wall? <laughs> <laughs> like like who thinks that and then that's when I found out what intrusive thoughts are thankfully I snapped out of that before Ellie came what's up coach Bailey how you doing does anyone get intrusive thoughts I would never hold like my nephews or anything like that yeah everything's good man I explained it earlier <laughs> 
thanks for popping in. But um, does it, yeah, does anyone get that? I started learning about intrusive thoughts. Yeah, the baby would die. Yeah, the baby would definitely die. <laughs> Who thinks that, right? Who thinks to create? And I would tell my ex about it, and she would think I'm nuts. And I, I understand why. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do that. It just it just jumps in my head. You ever have like a, like a conversation with somebody like a sweet old woman or something like that? You're at the grocery store, and you're just like, what if what would happen if I just fucking punch this lady square between the eyes? <laughs> I mean, it's fucking nuts. It's nuts, but it happens, man. People think that shit. That's why you, you don't want to fucking... Like here, road rage. You don't want to have road rage in Arizona. People get shot left and right. The minute you fucking flip the bird out the wingo, window, next thing you know, they, they're shooting your fucking finger off your hand. You can't do that. In, in New York, it was a free-for-all. I'd be screaming and yelling at everybody. No one's going to shoot you. Worst it comes to worst, you're in traffic, you get out of the car, and maybe you fucking throw some hands. But here in Arizona... Bitches will be fucking blowing your fucking heads off. So I can't have any crazy thoughts and try to act upon those. But intrusive thoughts are wild. There's like a whole thing on that, intrusive thoughts. It's crazy. Jesse's had those before. She's she's admitted to it on the show. Where she just wants to punch me in the face, which uh, I understand. Sometimes I want to punch my own face. Sean Strickland. Yeah, yeah, Sean Strickland. I mean, he's, he just says it. I mean, he, he really, he speaks everything that pops into his head. But I kind of get it. I, maybe that's why I'm saying everyone needs, like, an honest friend like that. You know, because at least you know what's going on in their head. Like, me, you know, I got to tell people about my, my intrusive thoughts about throwing babies. This way, if I snap one day and I throw a baby, I'll be like, at least I told you. Every time I see someone riding their bike in the middle of the street, I think about running them over. Yeah, it's an intrusive thought. Like, you're not going to do it, but you're like, oh, you know, if I just fucking ran them over. Dude, did you see Sean Avery? I tried to get him on the show. He's a former Ranger, New York Ranger. He has, like, an Instagram where he goes around and starts fucking bitching at people that drive and, like, block the bike lane. It's, it's like the funniest Instagram. I don't know if he still does it. He has a podcast now. Oh, it's so funny, man. It's just him riding around New York City being a complete Karen and like saying, look, you fucking stupid fat piece of shit. Get out of the bike lane. Like he would go up to a trucker that's pulled over, double parked in the bike lane. Like, what are you doing there, you fat piece of shit? <laughs> it's the best. Sean Avery's Instagram. Hold on, let me, uh, you gotta, ch you'll spend a good hour. Where is it? Sean, where's Sean Avery? Avery. What's his Instagram? It's a fantastic, and he was one of my favorite hockey players, the best. He was just a piece of shit. I am Sean Avery. Yeah, he's got like his own podcast now. But check this guy out. Like, so, yeah, so this is like more of his new stuff. He banked so many supermodels when he was on the Rangers. Just a complete stud of a human being. Just like the coolest guy. But then he like got weird. He retired from hockey and became like a fashion guy. He's just a nut job. He's a fucking lunatic, this guy. He's got a pretty hot wife, though, right? Look at him. Sean Avery. So if you if you scroll through this... Wait, hold on a second. What does he have? Two Instagram accounts? What the fuck? That's I am Sean Avery. What's Officer Sean? Hold on a second. Oh, Officer Avery. Here's the other one. So, oh, wow. So he's got two accounts. Wait, what is this other account? So the other account's verified. 225K. So this is the one. Officer underscore Avery. He only has 4,000 followers on this one. It's fantastic. Hold on. Yeah, I'll show you a little bit. This is the definition of stupid. How the fuck could you get into an accident on a wide open bike lane? <laughs> oh my God. This is amazing. Look at this. Slow down. I'm gonna need you to slow down there, buddy. That's why it's an accident. <laughs> Stupidest city in the world. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He he does not give a fuck. You gotta go down this rabbit hole. There's there's some really funny ones here. 
There's a guy driving a pink car. Hold on here, here. There's one. Look at this fucking loser. Who would paint their car like this? Yo! Bro, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> she, oh, she let you get a Ferrari? Oh, oh that's amazing. All right. Good luck. Uh, I'll try and find your balls for you somewhere. I think you parked them in the trunk of the Ferrari, maybe. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. There's the delivery guy that calls a fat fuck. It's so funny. I'll try to buy, find your balls for you. Come on, man. I'm a pe. Oh, these are my eye patches. I like to stay fresh. Keep it tight. Why do we do this every day? Why can't Why can't you just start respecting? No, look at. What do you mean ride around? Why would I? What? Why don't I take a picture of this one? I, I'm a, I'm asking you. Are you go? Are you gonna change? Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna follow the rules? Why couldn't you go over there? It's because you're lazy. Yes, it is. You don't want to cross the street with a fucking gurney. It's unsafe. What do you, What do you think this is? Listen, you can't argue with me. You can. My safety. That's. You worry about you, you worry about a little yours, bit too right? much. You, worry about yours, right? you don't skip a lunch. Right? It's all about you. <laughs> you don't skip a lunch. <laughs> oh, he's such a prick. He's such a prick. So he got that guy twice. There's just so many fucking videos. Uh, nothing there. Hold on a second. I want you to, I want you to apologize for being an asshole. What? You're blaming him? <laughs> Come here. I want you to apologize for being an asshole. You, who? You see an owl? All right, you're my man. <laughs> I want you to apologize for being an asshole. Oh, God, I love it, man. He was such a prick. He was such a prick on the Rangers. His coach hated him. Look at who he's riding around with. He's riding around on these fucking electric scooter. Mira, he's like a psychopath. He's a fucking psychopath. Yeah, go down that rabbit hole. There's so many videos on here. Actually, great highlights of him, too, when he was on the Rangers. God, he's such a funny bastard. Officer underscore Avery. But now he's got a podcast. He's a miserable fuck. I think that's why I like him so much. I tried to get him on the show. I tried. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. What am I doing? I would love to interview that guy. I even he used to fight all the time, so I could I could just say, uh you know, I just said, um, what's it called? We could do a fighting listen, we do an MMA podcast, but you would be a blast to have on. Just riding around New York. He don't give a fuck. He'll fight anybody. He doesn't give a shit. Uh, I don't like these funny guys. They're funny, but they're going to get shot. Yeah, well, Sean Avery, if you look at his hockey highlights, he didn't give a... His his coach, Um, it was John Tortorella at this time. John Tortorella had um, his very hard-nosed hockey coach. Two joints probably knows who he is. He's been around the block. But um, he didn't win the cup, no. Um, but, uh, Tortorella had this thing about tradition and the Rangers had a big logo on the fucking carpet of the locker room and he made everyone walk around this logo. Everyone had to walk around this thing. Sean Avery, right across the middle. Didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and Tortorella would bench him. 
bench him. And then when he would hit the ice, the crowd would go bonkers like he was a fucking rock star. Beating people up, scoring goals. Bet he grinds his teeth probably. <laughs> he probably does. He probably does. All right. So I'm the only teeth grinder here, huh? That's crazy, man. I can't believe I'm the only. How am I the only teeth grinder? No one else grinds their teeth? What the hell's going on? It must be all that marijuana you guys smoke. I got to start smoking some marijuana. All right. I'll see you mañana. You could try to play it, but you're never going to beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test yeah. Expect nothing less, your check is on chest What's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon No coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold 